school and community center there. The bus stop stops here. And then we get into downtown Rosendale here in just a second. All that. We love the Italian festival in Kingston coming up. And downtown Rosendale. Wait to see how cute this is. This is Main Street. This church here on the right is the library. Super cute. Bunch of residences. This guy here usually has art changed daily in those windows. station, the post office, and then here comes the shops. There's an acupuncture and natural museum and barber, the museum for burgers, and the Rosendale Theater, this really cool church, I'll tell you more about that when I talk to you. We turn down here to go parking. The farmer's market's there every weekend. I mean, just, I don't know, there's something super cute about this place. And then as we leave town, we'll look up and you can see the trestle above. And that is, once was a railroad track, but now it is the rail trail. So people go biking and hiking and running and that's that bridge right up there. It's wicked cool. And this rail trail goes right by where we're going. So I will be back in just a moment. All right, so here is 190 Breezy Hill. And it is right on the road. However, this road is not as busy as some of these others around here. But just right over here is the rail trail that takes you into the trestle. We are kind of close to your neighbor. But she's really cute. Yeah, so you have all the shrubs here separating it. I'm gonna do a little bit of the yard. This is really cute. Cute, that was set up as a gym. Soaking tub. A fire pit. Maybe. Looks like a little Buddhist head temple, but that rock is spectacular. This is a really lovely setting. metal roof on the garage that's gonna last quite some time <gasps> I'll just take 
to get a peek in. If there's a fence running along the back there. This is really adorable. I love the stone steps. <laughs> In the well. Okay. This is good to see. Nice stone path going to your garage with the roof looks lovely. Pretty new. Beautiful stonework. kidding me? Look how charming that is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to have to pause the video and come back because I got to get the uh, combination. this door. We're going to go use that door. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So, cute little mud room situation right when you first walk in. I love this little detail right there. Beautiful hardwood floor, but this is a nice industrial carpet here. And you're right in the kitchen. There is a noticeable hump. I think that might be, um, yeah, settling issues from ages ago. I realize there's something incredibly honest about trees in winter, how they're experts at letting things go. Ha ha, I love it. Okay. So, looks like a stone. Feels like a stone. Nice Bosch dishwasher. That is a phenomenal sink. And how charming and cute. A nice space. Great architectural detail left. Wow, that's a beautiful wolf stove. And yes, there's definitely characters in uh, the flooring. So it's a little bit of an overcast day today, um, but this is a really nice quality of light coming in here. The old school doorbell. That's brand new. So there's no closet. We use the wardrobe instead. I like the ceilings too. I did the wainscoting. Hmm. A little penny tile. sized bathroom. Oh, and then her linen 
closet is there. Okay. These floors are spectacular. Here, and then we got a closet on the other side. Right. Oh, haha, it goes into the next room, but the wardrobe's blocking it. The cyclone. Cute. Must be a kid's room. It's funny here you can not really see your neighbors, but you can see a bit of the road going further back up. But yeah, that's a nice big wardrobe here because it goes back that deep. So that is the upstairs. So I have a feeling this was a pass through to the living room as well, but they kind of sealed it up because that's where the TV is now. And I have to look, but that mantle looks like it was just added. It's not, yeah, yeah it's not a permanent structure. <laughs> okay, so a bathroom. Full bathroom ground level that has like a Jack and Jill style. So you can use it from either side. And subway tiling again with the Wayne's coat coated ceiling. This definitely has to be some sort of addition with skylights, but this room is phenomenal. That's a propane fireplace. And the wide plank floors are spectacular. And more closet. This room is lovely. I wish I had half a green thumb as this person does. And last but not least, we head to the basement. Oh, that's the Bilco doors that go up into the side yard. But, oh, see, smart. That is an industrial dehumidifier. This person did it right. So, all along the walls is a vapor barrier that is keeping the water from the walls coming in and going straight down to the ground. And then it's all being pointed to the sump pump. So when this gets full and the sump pump gets full, it'll get shot right out. Looks like I have a generator all set up, ready to go. And this is one of these hot water induction systems. They're insanely efficient. Um, you'll always have hot water. Okay, so 
This gives me an indication that there's air conditioning as well. Is this the, this looks like a two and one maybe? No, no. washer over there, dryer over here. But yeah, they've done some substantial work here. This is a newer lolly column, support beam. Makes sense why, um, why that hump is happening. Water softener system. And then that's your water filter. Sweet. All right. That concludes today's tour. 190 Breezy Hill.